CBS. Presenting Ronald McDonald in person. Hi, kids. Ronald in person means fun. Yeah. Juggling. Not bad, huh? And surprises. <laughs> and don't forget smiles. John Hambrick and Susan Lickman, weeknights at 6 and 11 on News 4. Perfect. I know just who she means. After yesterday, I expected bread and water for lunch. But look, today Mom gave me a gift, a little Hershey's kiss. Well, my mother says nobody's perfect. She could be my sister. Hershey's Kisses. They're only little till you taste them. The Disappearing Burgers with Ronald McDonald and friends. Wow! Hamburglar has a magic kit! Ooh, ooh. Ah, magic! Rubble, 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 cut camera! <laughs> I should have known you'd have something like that up your oh. sleeve. <laughs> rubble, rubble. All gone! All mine. Oh, no you don't. Oops. Now for a little trick. Rubble, rubble? We can all enjoy. <laughs> this is the time for the great taste of McDonald's. I'm moving my feet for a taste so neat. That just a hot dog taste. Pop, 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 my feet can't stop. Until they pop up nice and hot. Because it tastes so good. Ooh, I'm moving my feet to the pop dog feet. We now return to Smurfs. Oh, love is in the air. My darling Lizardo is sure to shower me with kisses. Once I bring in these Valentine goodies, slime mold, pigweed, and pond scum. But the best is yet to come. Me. I just love my work, and there's so much to do. Now, those two look like a perfect match. Uh, wonderful weather we're having, uh, aren't we? Uh, 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 yes, it is. There he is! Oh, my! Uh-oh. Oh, what luck! Spore rot! And I thought it was out of season. Yeah! Whoever did that is going to get... Cupid Zero in Agatha. Let's smurf out of here, Sarchi. Oh, but sorry. Under Cupid's spell, Agatha's going to fall in love with the first one she sees. And by smurf, it's not going to be me. Hey, Grandpa, wait for me. Yeah, phew! It works! My smurf allergic sniffer works! Yeah! Those little blue bonbons will soon be mine! Phew! <laughs> What's that awful smell? Oh, Gargamel! My darling Gargamel! Watch out! <laughs> Excuse me! This looks like a bad case of love at first fright! <laughs> Get your slime-picking hands off of me, you flea bag hag! Oh, Gargi Boo! I just love it when you're mad! You're so irresistible! Get off of me, you slobbering sow! Whoops! Sorry, Gargi! I can see you're just a, a prisoner of love! <laughs> Who is you? What's gotten into you? Let's stop beating around the bush, Turtle Dove. Let's get married. Marry you? Why, I can't think of anything in the world that would disgust me more. What could you possibly offer me? Love? Nah! Hey! Nah! Smurf! Nah! What? Smurfs? Why, of course. 
Smurfs, Smurfs. Why didn't I think of that before? Look, bring me those little blue bubble heads, and we'll be married at once. Oh, Gargi, my love. Your wish is my command. Just the thought of you makes my heart burn. Oh, I know what she means. I feel the same way. Thinking of her gives me heartburn, too. Excuse me, Gargi, but do you plan to live in the hovel after you're <laughs> married? I'm not marrying anyone, you dunderhead. All I want to do is turn the Smurfs into gold. Now get the cages ready for expecting guests. I wouldn't mess with Hagatha. She might flip her wig when she finds out she's being tricked. Time heals all wounds, dear boy. I'm sure she'll get over me in about a hundred years. <laughs> All I need is something borrowed, something blue, like Smurfs. Then dear old Gargamel will be mine forever. Set, 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 set. set. This is taking forever. We've been looking all day for something Smurfy, and you've rejected everything I've recommended. Give me a hint. What are we looking for? We're looking for the absolute super Smurfiest gift anyone has ever Smurfed a green bee for Valentine's Day. Well, that narrows it down. A Valentine's Day gift for the old geezer Smurf, eh? <laughs> I'll give him a gift he'll never forget. Of course you do. 
Donald and friends in Daydream. If I had my way, I'd spend every day with Ronald and all of his friends. Come on, let's have fun. Ronald would give me a push. I'd look up in the sky. And Bertie'd say, as she came flying by, we play tug of war. I give that old rope a tug. If Grimace falls down, Give him a hug. What a good time. What a great place. Come on, everybody. Let's go to McDonald's. Wait for me. What a wonderful dream. It would be such fun to do. Dana, we're going to McDonald's. And sometimes happy dreams really come true. It's a good time for the great days of McDonald's. I like to thank the God who changed the straw and made my heart see better than before. Who put the straw in my high seat blue flame? A new cold straw that wriggles in there. A new long straw in my high seat blue flame with vitamin C for me and my friend. Who was that man? I'd like to shake his hand. He made my heart see cooler than We now return to Smurfs. Boy and Falcons, this is a perfect spot for playing with the Smurferang Grampy game. I'll say, you're doing that. Sorry, Slouchy, I'm too busy collecting plants. That's what's so fascinating about nature. There's always something new and unexpected waiting around the corner. And don't come back, you crystal-carrying charlatan! And as for you, how dare you force that phony fortune teller up on me, the world's greatest wizard! Yeah, but Godfather, you said you wanted to see into the future, and she came highly recommended. Of course I want to see into the future, you fool! The age of wizardry is past, a new era is dawning, and if I can be the first to see it, I'll become the most powerful wizard of my time! Wait, please, Godfather. I, I know someone who can really help you see into the future. Do not try my patience, groveling godson. Who is this someone? Father Time. I can lead you to his cave. 
when the future beckons, there is no time for subtlety. Uh, but how about time for a rest? Oh, if he'd been just asking... You know what must be done, godson. You heard him, Asriel. Heave! Now! Why, you ruffians, how dare you break down my door? When I get my hands on you, Gargamel, you'll be history. You have to catch me first. <laughs> How did I do, Godfather? Excellent. Now bring me the sickle, Gargamel. <laughs> right away. You have done well, Godson. Perhaps I was wrong about you. But I don't think so. Balthazar, release me at once and give me back my sickle. You might disturb the fabric of time. That's exactly what I intend to do. Now tell me, where is this fabric of time? It's all around us, you fool. And now you've torn a hole in it. Good. At last I can see what the future holds. Get away from me. <laughs> Oh, if that's the future, I've seen enough! Lord Stargamel may have the right idea. We're getting out of here. But don't you see what you've done? You've opened a hole into the distant past. I can't let my past mistakes interfere with my future plans for the time. Oh, no. Phelan Sandpipers, I think you overslept it a little, Slouchy. Uh-oh. I hope I didn't lose it. Nah, we'll find it. Looks like something found it first. Creep and crawfish? What do you call that? I don't know, but when he walks, he sounds like thunder. Smurferoo, little thunder seems to like you, Sluggy. And I think he wants to play. Okay, fella. Fetch. It wasn't supposed to rain today. Well, it obviously is going to rain, Smurfette. So I suggest getting the Smurf barrel covered, because there's nothing worse than soggy Smurf berries. <laughs> Unless it's taking orders from Brainy Smurf. Very funny. Hey, what was that? <gasps> and what is that? Yay, it's a monster! Smurf for cover! Smurfering all the way to the village, Slouchy. Smurfy idea. I wonder what the other Smurfs will say when I see him. <laughs> oh, Baba Smurf! It was a big monster! A big, horrible monster! I wish I could have seen this creature. <laughs> Isn't that a Smurfering? No, that's him! Run, my little Smurfs! Dinosaurs haven't existed on Earth for 60 million years. Then what's Little Thunder doing here? I don't know. But something has disturbed the orderly progression of the centuries. Father Time should be told about this. I think you may be right, Matt. But Father Time will know how to get Little Thunder back home. Hiding hedgehogs, Pappy! Father Time's nowhere to be found! I'm afraid something terrible has happened to Father Time. Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Something terrible is happening to Little Thunder! Hmm. Loss of tail tension, flaking scales. He'll be all right, won't he, Pappy, won't he? I'm afraid. 
afraid he may not sass it if we can't get him back to his own time. We have to do something in the meantime, Bobby Smith. An herbotonic may keep his strength up, but I'll need mugwort, fennel root, mint leaves. <laughs> Lucky Brady, I got plenty of mint leaves. <laughs> well, I had plenty of mint leaves. Golly, what's this? Oh, probably nothing of any importance, Clumsy. I'll just hang on to it. All we need now, Nat, are some mint leaves. Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf, look what I found. It's important, isn't it? Great Smurfs. This material is from Balthasar's cape. smurf a So he's the one responsible for Father Time's disappearing. Yes, we must get to Balthasar's castle and rescue Father Time. He's the only one who can help Little Thunder get back home. <laughs> or we burn Willow, you'll never make us. Maybe this will help. Say, ah. Uh. Hungry and thirsty, Father Time? There's enough food and drink for two if you show me how to see the future. Uh, well, then, then, then how come there's not enough food for three? <laughs> Let's make a deal. I'll let you go and give you back your sickle if you'll just tell me how to cut a little tiny hole into the future. Uh, you're not really going to let him go, are you? Of course not. No deal, Balthazar. Then hear me well, ancient one. I'm going to start slashing and hacking at your precious fabric of time until nothing is left but ribbons. The primitive past will pour into the present. Stop! Very well. You win, Balthazar. I knew you'd see things my way. Gargamel, bring my good friend Father Time something to eat. And a little for ourselves, eh, Azriel? Mm -hmm. Oh, little thunder is slowing down again, Papa Smurf. I think he needs some more tonic. There's only a little bit left, Papa Smurf. I'm afraid little thunder is too weak to go on. I'll stay here with him, Papa Smurf, but please hurry. We'll Smurf our best, Slouchy. Golly, Papa Smurf, how do we get in? Quietly, clumsy. Up the chain, my little Smurfs. And speed is of the essence because we don't want to wake up the most monster. Like this? No, no, Balthazar, that's wrong. It's all in the wrist. More like this? For a powerful wizard, you're a very slow runner. I'm losing patience, old man. Show me how to cut into the future. How can I show you without moving my hands? Then I'll release you. Now, no more excuses. Well, is it future yet? Ah! What? Where, where? Donald Sterling, get back behind you! Smurfs, get to my real! Faster, my little Smurfs! Too late! Gotcha! Thanks to you, Godfather, there's Smurf stew in our future. Smurf stew? How revolting! Get them out of my sight immediately! Very well. That leaves more din din for us. Come, Azriel. <laughs> now, Father Time, back to the future. I am so happy now, for, as you can see, I have the cage of Smurfs to fill my own tummy. Yum, 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 yum. That sounds like Gargamel. Just think, Azriel, Smurf stew with enough for leftovers. Oh, no. Gargamel's got every Smurf. Am I going to save him, Little Thunder? You stay here. Hey. Let me go, you big smurf-yapper! <laughs> That's the last time you try scampering up my shin, you little blue bug! <laughs> ah, it's the beast again! Whoa! We must get Father Time's sickle away from Balthazar before it's too late. First a twist to the left, then a half a, a, a twist to the right. At last, the future is mine! Ow! Gotcha! In the nick of time! Thank you, my little blue friends! Please, Father Time, help Little Thunder! I hope there's enough time. Stand back. I 
A Smurf guy reminds me of me. Maybe you're related. I doubt it. I don't think I look good in blue anyway. Hey, you sure you don't want to try one of these eggs? No, thanks. I'm full. Too bad. I guess I'll eat them all myself. Uh, we'll be right back with Alvin and the Chipmunks. Exploring is hard work. Yeah, now I've got to refuel myself. I know. Let's go to the Milky Way. That'll hit the spot. The fun's just starting. Quick will make it rich, chocolatey. And... Delicious. Ah, quick really puts me in orbit. Nestle Quick, the taste that gets you going. A new racing team is shifting into gear. Mask. Pull over, bullet. Uh-oh, got a bit of iguana on my tail. Bulldog, prepare to assist. Mask vehicles each sold separately with a figure. Kendra with a bike will fill my blade. Engage hover mode. We're going fishing. Mask. Bulldog, fire! Where illusion is the ultimate weapon. Mask, bulldog, iguana, and bullet each sold separately. New from Kenner. Since I can't get tricks from kids, I'll make some myself. <laughs> it's part of this nutritious breakfast. With orangey oranges, lemony lemons, grapeity grapes, fruity fruits. <laughs> Hope I didn't gum it up. Huh? Dummy rabbits in fruity flavors? Uh oh, I better hide them. But where? In the box of silly rabbit, where you kids will find four free gummy rabbits. Gummy rabbits in tricks. Yeah. Who put the straw in the high sea fruit tray? A new cool straw that'll wiggle some hair. A new long straw in the high sea fruit tray. With vitamin C for me and my friend. Who was that man? Lots of pound puppies need your love. Ask for me, Petey. And when they're this lonely and this lovable, one more is always welcome. Come share it all, a cousin Karen puppy love. Pound puppies. Each sold separately. From Tonka. Here's a very unusual kind of egg that's only around till Easter. The original cream egg from Cadbury, made from Cadbury's rich, smooth dairy milk chocolate. Inside this thick shell, a creamy yellow yolk surrounded by delicious white filling. Cadbury's cream eggs. Why, they're the best thing to come along since the Easter Bunny. And when he's gone, they're gone. Tony Danza. Who is it? Mickey Mouse. The Disney Sunday movie takes a special look back at a magical man. The real tribute to Walt Disney is the feeling that stays in our hearts. Aren't you proud of it, Mr. Disney? Well, I'm so proud, I think I'll bust. <laughs> Disney goes to the Academy Awards. Tomorrow. Weeknights at 7 o'clock, it's hip to be square with John Davidson on the Hollywood Squares. Watch your favorite stars play for laughs while contestants battle it out for a chance to win a car. So catch the Hollywood Squares weeknights at 7 o'clock on Channel 10.
This is ABC. You always wanted a grandfather clock. The old-fashioned kind made of solid hardwood with fine German clockworks. This Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 10 to 10 at the Plantation Holiday Inn, you can buy a grandfather clock at the unbelievable savings from 40 to 60% off. For example, you can buy an $800 clock for only $3.95. This factory-sponsored sale is the largest old London grandfather clock show ever seen in South Florida. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the Plantation Holiday Inn. University at Sunrise from 10 to 10. Free delivery and free setup. The one and only channel. It's the Pound Puppy! Here's Cooler, Whopper, Nose Marie, Bright Eyes, and Owler! and all over town. People were shopping and rushing around. And Santa's assistants were out in the ice. To find out who all has been naughty or nice. Because right in the midst of the traffic so speedy, some people take time to help others more needy. And we're writing down every good little deed. There's a poor family that's out on the street. Isn't that sweet? They could use some new clothes and something to eat. There are all sorts of people in town who are nifty. We're going to give each one a super keen gifty. So back to the pound, we go lickety splitty. To get gifts for all the good folks in the city. We're wrapping the presents in double quick time. Does anyone mind if we don't talk in rhyme? Oh, 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 that's fine with me. Ho, ho, honey, ho, ho. I'm Sandy Claus, and I just dropped in to remind all you to give lots of neat old toys to Whopper, yeah! He's been so good this year, and he needs about a dozen, uh, no, million, no, a billion toys, yeah, yeah! All the toys in the world, except for the stuff for girls, right, Mrs. Claus? Huh? Uh, all right, Santa. Um, and you can give all the girl toys to me! Um, I mean, to that sweet, adorable little puppy, Bright Eyes. That's right! Bright Eyes and Whopper could have all the toys in the world and get out now with the universe, yeah! Black of toys, black of toys, black of Christmas toys. Gimme, give gimme give lots of toys, gimme, give gimme give toys. Whoa, sound the alarm. We're being attacked by the Christmas greed monsters. Hey, don't you guys know it's better to give than to receive? Okay, so give me! Give me toys, give me toys, give me lots of toys! Ooh, Santa's gonna leave these two a whole mess of coal. The sleigh's all loaded up! Then let's hitch up our reindeer and hit the road. Hey, Rudolph, front and center! Rudolph, Schmudolph, how do we get talked into these things? By the way, Holly, where'd you find all these great presents to hand out? I bought them! With what money, may I be so bold as to ask, perchance? With the pound's money. The pound's money? You mean we had money left over after paying the bills? What bills? We haven't gotten any bills since July. Isn't that wonderful? Wonderful? I'd say it's downright fishy. <laughs> and it has the distinct aroma of Katrina Stoneheart. I'm almost finished with my Christmas list. Lovely, Bertina, dear. I want a Susie spin-up doll. 
a Peter Piranha bathtub toy. A dinky doodle doll with diapers. That's very nice, Bertina. But wouldn't you really like to close down that miserable puppy pound for Christmas? And this year, we're finally going to get our wish. Good afternoon, Mr. Hubert. Got anything for me, huh? Do you, do you, do you? Uh, nope. Just some bills and whatnot. Oh, is that all? Oh, and here's some of Holly's mail for the pound, too. Gas bill, electric bill, food bill. Wonderful, just wonderful. She's the only person I've ever met who's happy to get bills and, uh, whatnot. <laughs> More bills for Holly. Put these with the others, Bertina. Ew, icky, 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 Bill. No, my little summer squash. These are pretty bills because they're all Holly's. Thousands of lovely overdue bills. She can't possibly pay them all, which means the pound will be shut down for good. And the puppies will be out in the cold on Christmas Eve. <laughs> And so the good pups did whatever they could to spread happy nests through the whole neighborhood. They gave the folks puppies and presents and jam. <laughs> Thank you, Pound Puppies. It's our pleasure, ma'am. The Pound Puppies' hearts are just bursting with gladness. But just round the corner was a heart filled with sadness. <laughs> You! Get out of those trash cans! This is our neighborhood. Go back to the other side of the tracks where you belong. <laughs> we'll teach this wimp a lesson. <laughs> now I'm mad! Oh, 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 sorry, pal, but Glee Club tryouts were last week. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, fella? Don't you have a home? <laughs> now, calm down, honey lamb. We're your friends. <laughs> I've never had friends. Well, you're in luck, Tiny, because Uncle Santa wants you. Yes, the Elf Corps is looking for a few good pups. Santa's elves, the few, the proud, the wacky. Consider yourself drafted. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is beautiful. There's that upstart mongrel. We'll get even with him. Just wait. Come on, Tiny. Let's get you back to the pound for some nice, warm kibble. The pound? What is the pound? Why, it's where all us little old puppies live. Oh, can I stay there, too, at the pound? abso positive and lootly, kid. Our pound is your pound. Closed? But how can you close the pound? I'm sorry to do this on Christmas Eve, Holly, but the pound is so behind in its bills, well, I just had to close it down. I'm very sorry. What bills is he talking about? We didn't get any bills. Oh, Holly! This may be your answer coming down the street. I have a Christmas present for you. Five months of overdue bills. You can't possibly pay them. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, read them and weep. I can't believe this. Well, it's true. Now, come home, young lady. You're going straight to bed. No, I want to stay with the puppies. Too bad. You're coming home this instant. No, you can't do this. Please, Aunt Katrina, please. <laughs> oh, no.
return after these messages. Twix puts the dig <laughs> in your gig. <laughs> it puts the boom into your beat. Puts the rhythm in your feet. Keeps you rocking <laughs> along. Puts the soul into your phone. You can keep on, keep on moving with Twix. Chocolate caramel satisfaction. Like crispy cookie get you back in the action. Two sticks of Twix can't fix. You can keep on, keep on, keep on moving with Twix. Caramel or peanut butter Twix. The Legoland Solar Power Transporter. You can build this transport pretending you're on Mars. The box shows ways to change it by snapping off the cars. You can snap them back together and get a scouting craft. Or match them with the lasers for a base defender craft. You can make up something wild, supercharged and new. The sky's the limit when the team is Legoland and you. There are 19 space sets you can collect, each sold separately. The Solar Power Transporter is part of the Legoland Space Collection and has hundreds of bricks for building from Lego Systems. Captain O.G. Readmore here, an ordinary sidewalk on an ordinary day. But did you ever stop to think that you could get away, take a journey on a rocket, take a voyage on a ship? Just read a book and off you go, because reading is a trip. Explore a tropic jungle. Ooh. Discover distant planet. <laughs> or reach the glacier's tip. Just read a book and off you go, because reading <laughs> yes, is a trip. We now return to the Pound Puppies. It was the night before Christmas and all through the pound. Not a creature was stirring, not even a hound. Mainly because we're locked out. We'll sneeze to death with that. No, we'll be, we'll be used to breath. We'll be very, very cold. How could Katrina Stone not be so cruel and heartless as to throw us poor, defenseless, and terribly cute puppies out in the cold on Christmas Eve? Well, what can I tell you, Nosemary? Katrina's the villain on the show. She's just doing a job. Boy, now what? That Santa won't even be able to find us. Yeah, I can see it now. Gazillion toys, yeah! Oh, 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 oh. But since I can't find you, I'll have to give all your toys to Bright Eyes, uh, to Kula, uh, to Bratina, yeah! To Bratina, that's it! Oh, oh, oh. oh no! This means we won't get any toys! No toys! <laughs> Sorry, Tiny. It looks like this isn't gonna be much of a Christmas. Oh, that's okay. I'm just happy to be with my new friends. I bet that poor little puppy could even melt Katrina's stone heart. Stone heart. <laughs> Happy holidays, pound puppies. <laughs> It's a hooting car, no, a, flo a floating jar, a, a, a shooting star. Oh, no, it's me, your old friend, Zazu, the fairy dog mother. Oh, another perfect landing. But next time, try landing on somebody else. Zazu, what are you doing here? Oh, well, I've come in answer to a Christmas wish to help you reopen the pound. But Katrina's closed down this place for good. I mean, I mean, for bad. I mean, uh, 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 forever. If we could just talk to Katrina, uh, maybe she'd be our friend. Well, sorry, Tiny, but mean people like Katrina can't understand us pups. Hmm. Well, perhaps I can fix things so she can understand you. Aha! Here's just the spell. <coughs> Katrina Stoneheart, and this I say, tonight you'll see things the puppy's way. They'll take you on a magic trip. Abracadabra, uh, let her rib. Uh, 
Oh, Cat Cat, this is such a glorious Christmas. Just knowing that those puppies are rotting out in the cold makes me feel all warm and wonderful inside. strange that's nothing new you always seem strange to me <laughs> a dog a dog what's a dog doing in this house a whole bunch of little old dogs katrina honey pie honey pie how dare you talk to me like talk to me talking dogs no help i'm having a nightmare somebody pinch me please ow why, you little... Just following orders, ma'am. Yeah, mellow out, Katrina Babes. We got you booked for the night, so just sit back and relax. But, 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 what do you want? Why are you here? We're gonna open your little old eyes to the wonderful world of puppies. Yeah, imagine if you were one of us. A puppy! No, no, anything but that! What's going on here? Take a look, sugar. A good look. I'm a... a, 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 a puppy! Ah! Come along, doggy. Somebody wants to buy you for Christmas. Please, you can't do this. I'm not a puppy. I hate puppies! This puppy will make a wonderful gift. No, not that one. It's too scary. Sure, sure, Matt. Yeah, that's what they all say. See, yeah, yeah. But listen, tonight we're busted out of this joint. See, yeah, yeah. Free, free, free at last. That was a close one, pup. You better come back with us to the pound where it's safe. Yes, yes. Like we're locked out. They're gonna tear down our little old pound and put up Kitty Land luxury homes for cats. No, what do I do? Where will I go? I don't know. Maybe you should ask him. <laughs> ah! oh, oh, it was just a dream. A horrible dream. <laughs> You know, Cat Gut, maybe I have been too hard on the puppies. Maybe I should treat them better. Well, perhaps I should reopen the pound and try to live happily with the puppies throughout the year. Maybe, just maybe, the world could be a wonderful place where the puppies and I could live together in perfect peace and harmony. Nah. <laughs> you should have seen Katrina. We just planted that little old dream in her head, and she ran with it. Oh, well, I hope everything works out for you in town, puppies. Oh, and now I must be off. Uh, Merry Christmas to all. And to all, uh, uh, oh, good night. Look, it's Katrina. She's coming over to reopen the pound. It worked. Yippee-yay, what do you do? Oh, I hope Santa left our presents inside the pound. I hope he left his whole sleigh inside the pound. Hello, puppies. <laughs> Kittyland, Katrina's luxury homes for ants. Oh, it came to me in a dream. <laughs> Now we'll never get our toys. What are we gonna do, Cooler Sweet Cakes? I'll tell you what you're not gonna do, Sweet Cakes. You're not staying here because we don't like strays in our neighborhood. And we've got a special score to settle with that one. Whoa, Jack. Can't we settle this matter like ladies and gentle pups? I guess not. We'll 
return after these messages. What's scary? Bounces and has a face only a mother could love. Ugly Ball. You can get one free from Bunker's Chewy Candy by sending 10 outside wrappers to Bunker's Ugly Ball, Box 1197, Grand Rapids, Minnesota. Ugly Balls from Bunker's. You'll love them. I'm rooting for a terrific flavor from Bonkers Chewy Candy. Chewy chocolate bonkers. Rich chocolate outside, dark fudge inside. <laughs> the delicious chocolatey taste of Chewy Chocolate Bonkers bonks you out. Cronin takes them all at the top of the key. He pops. Jerry! Three points! He's double teamed. He's driving over the top. Slam dunk for Jerry! What moves? Cronin states. They're all over him. He breaks loose. Swish! Jerry! You know, ever since I got this Nerf hoop, I don't mind going to my room to do my homework. Jerry! Are you studying? Cronin shoots from mid-court. Yes! Does this kid ever miss? There's only one Nerf. Grandpa, tell me the sun kiss story again. Ah, the magic land of the sun kiss factory. And only their sweetest and juiciest oranges ever wear the sun kiss name. We now return to the Pound Puppies. You mangy mutts! We'll show you! Quick, this way! Canines, you should be ashamed acting violently in the presence of this pup. Yeah? Why? What's so special about him? The same little thing that's special about all of us. Yeah, deep down inside, we're all special. Correct, Amundo. So let's not blow our time picking on one pup because he's poor, or because he's weak, or just because he looks different than other pups. Right. We gotta remember what Christmas is all a snout. I mean, you know, a cow. What it's for. A peace on Earth. Goodwill toward men. And dogs. I'm sorry if I did anything before uh, to make you upset. All I really want is to be your friend. Friendship. Now that's the nicest Christmas gift anyone can get. Merry Christmas, little fella. They don't even have a home for Christmas, and they're not crying. 
messages. New Tic Tac Toes, a good hot meal. And when you get three X's or O's on your spoon, you win. Say good tips for Chef Boyardee. Tic, 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 tac toes. With and without meatballs. Yeah! In the laboratory of Dr. Frankenstein, something incredible was created. Great taste of pure milk chocolate and delicious mm. peanut butter. Mm. Unfortunately, mm. no one would listen. And so the world would have to wait for the two great tastes that taste great together in Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Mmm, mmm, my super golden crisp cereal is the life of this nutritious breakfast. Can't believe there's eight vitamins hiding in that sweet, crispy wheat. Well, well, Frankie the Finn and my old pal Sharky. What's up, fellas? Your time, sugar bear, we're cruising for a crunch. How about a vitamin-packed punch? Let's get it. Last flight to the coast. Thanks for the lift, boys. I can't get enough super golden crisp. It's got crunch with punch. Yeah. It's the Pound Puppy Pet Care Corner. Oh, the blazing scorching sun. Mellow out, Nose Marie. Sure, it's hot, but Holly remembered to make sure we have lots of water and plenty of shade. What about Rover next door? His master left him out in the sun with no water and no shaded place to cool him off. And what about that poor doggy across the street? Her mistress left her in the car. That car gets as hot as an oven. A puppy could die in there. Kids, don't be cruel to your pet. Make sure he has plenty of shade and fresh water. Stay tuned for the Bugs Bunny and Tweety show next. Tomorrow, Tony Danza hosts Disney Goes to the Academy Awards. And Tuesday, Angela cuts loose to get rid of her midlife blues on Who's the Boss? Then Carol decides to put her money to work on a nose job on Growing Pains. <laughs> This is ABC. It's fun. It's new. Catch the rain. 
Beach. Catch the rage. Check out the Facts of Life weekdays at 4 o'clock. It's the Bugs Bunny and Tweety Show, together with some of their very closest friends. This promises to be fun. It is. Laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is my very favorite show. Get in on the fun with the Bugs Bunny and Tweety Show. We will return after these messages. Mmm, mmm, my super golden crisp cereal is the life of this nutritious breakfast. Can't believe there's eight vitamins hiding in that sweet, crispy wheat. Well, well, Frankie the Finn and my old pal Sharky. What's up, fellas? Your time, sugar bear. We're cruising for a crunch. How about a vitamin pack punch? Let's get it. Last flight to the coast. Thanks for the lift, boys. I can't get enough super golden crisp. It's got the crunch with punch. Yeah. Hear anything negative? Sunkiss searches and searches for fun fruit trees. The only tree is funny enough. I found them! To grow Sunkiss fun fruits. Every chewy one is real fruity fun. And now we've discovered new Sunkiss fun fruits cream supremes. They're covered with yogurt. And filled with fun. <laughs> New Sun Kiss Fun Fruits Cream Supremes. We now return to the Bugs Bunny and Tweety Show. <laughs> Don't start that patter of little feet around the house stuff again. I'm busy. Oh, oh, oh. I work and I sleep. And, and what thanks do I get? I, I wish I was dead. dead. <laughs> Every day it's the same thing. Pitter patter of little feet. Congratulations, madam. You're a mother. A baby? Quick, quick, open it, open it! Oh boy, this makes me a father! A mouse? A mouse? Oh, he calls me Mama. Isn't he cute? Cute? He's delicious! After all, he's just a baby. Even if he is a mouse, he's ours. Yours and mine? You're a gambling woman. What do you take? Heads or tails? Oh. You beast! You cannibal! How could you? Mouse or no mouse, he's your son. A fine thing. I've become the father of a breakfast. Hold still, you little rodent. <laughs> and after you're through, take darling for a walk. I'll be back as soon as I can. to take his little man out for a walk. Coochie, 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 coo. 
these messages. So how'd you do it? I slipped. He, he slipped. McDeal to you everywhere. It was muddy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When he passed and he slipped. Mm. This is pretty good. Yeah, the sun was right. in my eyes. The sun. Oh. Yeah, this is great. Are you uh, using this fry? Mm. Come on, guys. Give me a hand. Comedians. To get that great berry taste in Crunchberry cereal, Captain Crunch sails high seas to a land filled with oops of danger. There grow the sweetest, juiciest berries, but they're still not Crunch Berries. No, not till Crunch Power locks their sweet berry taste in, so it's tough to sog out. And only then does Captain Crunch return with my tasty Crunch Berries for kids everywhere. What a God! What a cereal! Crunch Berries are a very good part of a balanced breakfast. It on. Milk, it does. Milk, it does a body. Milk, it does a body good. Pass it on. Pass it on.
We now return to the Bugs Bunny and Tweety Show. Hey, you darn fool! What's the idea of tying knots in my rifle barrel? Well, that's that. to great big king-sized giant mice, like I used to hunt. Really? Like that one over there? Is that a giant mouse like you used to hunt, Father? Huh? Oh, 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 uh, uh, why, yes, 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 it is. A stuffed giant mouse. Huh, <laughs> wouldn't be surprised if I knocked that one off myself. Ah, you should have seen your old man in action. First, I'd stalk the monster till I'd cornered it. Then, I'd rush it. Sovereign Sakatosh, it's alive. Oh, Father, letting a mouth kick you. Oh, yeah? Well, I sure cut him down to size, you'll notice. Now, just watch me cut him down another notch or two. <laughs> What's the idea of that? After seeing my pussycat father thrown out by a mouse, I'm ashamed to show my face in public. Now cut that out! There's just not enough fighting room in there. I gotta get him out here in the open, where there's room to throw my old one-two punch. I know. I'll smoke him out. What on earth are you doing with that giant turtle shell? <laughs> Son, the armored pussycat division is about to move in on target. Oh, a tank! <laughs> Shucks, son. I didn't even see him. He must have sneaked out. Father, what's happened to your legs? <laughs> I've got a stowaway. <laughs> got your corner, Mr. Smarty Mom. 
Messages. It's that time of year again, and Cadbury has hatched up milk chocolate mini eggs for Easter, made with Cadbury's dairy milk chocolate. Inside the crisp sugar shell is a chunk of thick and creamy Cadbury's dairy milk chocolate. That's why mini eggs give you a chocolate experience that is so special. Although Easter isn't here yet, Cadbury's mini eggs are. So discover for yourself which comes first, the bunnies or the eggs. Dear, Timmy's making a picture of New Tang again. New Tang breakfast beverage crystals. Are you ready? flavors. Are you ready for the big orange taste of New Tang? When time is going slow. You can fill it up with fun. Just like a sap, popcorn, and she's my favorite movie star. Popcorn, and she's my favorite snack, my bar. I like her best unbuttered with just a dash of salt, cause she doesn't load me down with calories. Well, if you ask me to describe her, I say she's packed with fiber. Popcorn, and she's my favorite movie star. What happens when you add four high school co-eds away at boarding school, plus a know-it-all but lovable house mother? It's an equation that adds up to laughter. The Facts of Life, weekday afternoons at 4 o'clock, here on Channel 10. This is A.B. Constructs, Thundering Tracks, and Skyblazer, each sold separately from Fisher Price. Constructs! The one and only Channel 10. Campbell's invites you to watch it. How about colorizing the Smurfs? Green and pink would be nice. Two. Oh, will you stop this? Brian, how do you expect to be heard in this world if you don't let people know what you think? Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Two. Ever thought of doing a cartoon about a lovable alien? But what about Punky Brewster? She's not an alien, is she? No, but she's on now. Well, why didn't you say so? Let's watch.
only a mother could love? Ugly Ball. You can get one free from Bunker's Chewy Candy by sending ten outside wrappers to Bunker's Ugly Ball, Box 1197, Grand Rapids, Minnesota. Ugly Balls from Bunker's. You'll love them. I'm rooting for a terrific flavor from Bunker's Chewy Candy. Chewy chocolate Bunker's. Rich chocolate outside, dark fudge inside. <laughs> the delicious chocolatey taste of Chewy Chocolate Bunker's bonks you out. The night starts ordinary with forever friends. It's extraordinary. Here's Plushy Tail, Cozy Tail, and Snowy Tail, too. Each sold separately. Powder Tail and Rosy Tail came to see you. All down us to forever friends. Making long tails always makes us smile. Looks so right to forever friends. Cause now we're all dolled up with styles. Plushy Tail comes with everything you see here. Other forever friends sold separately. New from Kenner. We now return to Punky Brewster. Six straight days of rain. I don't think I can stand it anymore. Old McLomley had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, with a oink oink this, and a quack quack this. Here I move, there I move, everywhere I move, move. Old McLomley won fun dude. E-I-E-I-O. Holy macanoli. It's Miss Pollock, your social worker. Is everything all right? Uh, hi, Miss Pollock. <laughs> What's going on in there? <gasps> this place is a pigsty. Never mind. Get your things, Punky. You're leaving with me. But, Miss Pollock... Punky friend in hot soup. Oh, oh, oh. oh, what a mess. Punky, Miss Bollock, what's going on? You will be hearing from the Child Welfare Office, Mr. Warnemont. Punky is now in our care. But, Miss Bollock, there must be some mistake. Yes. The mistake of letting you be responsible for this little girl. Don't worry, Punky. I'll get this straightened out. You'll see. I know you will, Henry. Come, Punky. I'm taking you to a new foster home. It's a wonderful place with lots of happy girls. You'll love it. Don't worry, Miss Pollock. I'm sure she's in good hands, Mrs. Thrash. Punky will love it here. Now, let's meet the other girl. First thing you need to do here is learn to make candy. Candy? That's right. And we're behind on our orders. So get busy. Come on, girls. Quit sniveling and get my orders, mate. This creepy place. I think I'll knock this back to Henry. You mean a creepy place, and we can't do that. If we disappear, we'll get Henry into more trouble. Why are we doing this? So Mrs. Fox can sell these candies and make money to take care of us. But to get paid to take care of us. I'll bet she's just using us. 
to make money for herself. You better get a move on. Mrs. Thrash videotapes and watches everything we do. No peeking about fine eyes. Now giving Punky helping hands. for this mess. It wasn't their fault, on it. Ew! I should have known. Girl, thanks to Punky Brewster, you'll all work extra tomorrow to catch up on our orders. Things were bad enough before you came. Yeah, thanks a lot. If only someone could see what's going on here. They put that old bad business. And that's exactly what we'll do. Uh, whatever you be saying. <laughs> Achoo! The gang will be here any minute. Oh, oh Chroma, you must have caught a cold when you fell into that vat of chocolate. Just hang in there, Gloma. Get that videotape down to the TV news station. And everyone will know Mrs. Thrash is a fake. What's taking Punky so long? This night air is chapping my skin. Hey, guys. Be down in a chip. Okay, Gloma, do your stuff. Wow! Oh, oh that must stop being a doo. Employees only, and that is final. I have to get this tape down to the newsroom. <laughs> How do we get past the guard? With disguises, of course. How about it, Laura? Can you zap up a nice disguise? Oh, that's no problem. Nice disguise zapping up. <laughs> It must be his cold, Punky. He heard mice instead of mice. the fire department. If only we knew who her parents are. That's easy. Give me a close-up of the kid. The storm is hampering the rescue efforts of this unidentified young girl. <laughs> Brandon, not now. Oh, my 
gosh! Punky! Come on, Brandon. We'll get our Punky back. Hang on, little girl. We need a longer ladder. It should be here soon. Hang on, Mac. This is as far as you go. But that's my daughter. Everything's all right, Punky. Wow! You're a real that hero! That was great! That was a very brave thing to do. Of course. He's the best father there is. And now the whole world saw it, too. There you are, you nasty child. You must be from the foster home. Is this what you call taking care of my Punky? She's been making all the kids work. And here's the proof. <gasps> my tape! Get me that! Oh, no, you don't. This is one story you don't want to miss. I saw the whole thing, Mr. Warnemont, and any father who would risk his life is okay by me. You won't have to worry about losing Punky again. Isn't that great, Henry? But what about the other girls? You'll be happy to know I found wonderful new foster homes for all of them. I just hope they'll be as happy as I am. Punky Brewster will return after these messages. All right, remember, stick to the game plan. Right. Point one, they can come to you. Point two, never look hungry. Oh, they're so big on chocolate. Yeah, chocolate at the hill. Let's not forget point three. What's that? No one points one and two aren't working. It's hard to keep them on the rest of oh, three. Three months Breakfast with my fruity pebbles. <laughs> Tricking Fred out of his pebbles is always an adventure. Uh-oh, the natives are restless. Oh, save the pebbles. Big Rock Jones. Tastes fruity, delicious. Barney. Time to get into the swing of things. Post fruity and cocoa pebble cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. You have a dab of delicious. We now return to Punky Brewster. Yay, come on, Punky! Hey, hey, come on, Henry! Come on, Henry and Punky! Time's running out, Punky. Hurry, hurry! Come on! Let's give it our best effort, Punky. Go for it. Yeah! until you spend some money. Can you spend it? You have two days to spend one million dollars if you want to win the fourth million dollar grand prize. But if you don't spend every penny, you lose it all. Don't worry, Punky. For a million dollars, you can get a great little villa. Uh, sorry. The rules say you can only spend $10,000 on any one thing. And to make sure you play by the rules, I'll be watching you. We're gonna win that forty million dollars, right, Henry? Henry? Jeepers, Henry! What are those red spots all over your face? They're just hives. I get them when I'm nervous. I'm afraid those aren't hives, Henry. You've got contagious chickenpox. Then you won't have time to spend the million dollars. <laughs> Wait a minute. We're not quitting. You tell him, Punky. I'm going with you. After all, you've already had chicken pox. <laughs> but I haven't. But what can we do? Use your friends, the strangers. I don't care. Just don't take him. We're in business. They're not on sale? Wonderful. I just love doing a little shopping. <laughs> Did we forget anything? I doubt it. I just spent noodles of money. Me too. That'll be $90,000. 
and 39 cents. Here's a hundred thousand. Keep the change. Oh, what fees, too. Boy, candy sure is getting expensive these days. I'm gonna go spend some more money. My, my. You have been busy. But the rules say you can't keep anything. This could make you lose the game. <laughs> oh, I'm already taking care of that. I got here as soon as I could. Good. You stuff we promised for the orphan. Oh, drat. Hey, looking what I buy. Lottery ticket bringing a big box. No, Wilmer. We don't want to get more money. We have to spend what we have. Oh, I'm getting a picture now. Right. Why don't you give the ticket to Father Rooney? Just what I think. Come on, guys. Let's see what Alan does. Whoa! Whoa! Alan? Meet Tom. I bought him for $10,000. His name's Winner. What are we gonna do with the horse? Well, he used to be a racehorse. A racehorse! That's a great idea. I bet he'd lose us a bundle. Are you sure this is gonna work? Sure. We've already paid a fortune for entrance and boarding fees, and Glover bet $10,000 on winner to win. That means all we have to do is lose. Huh? When you bet your money on the horse to win, and he loses, you lose your money. Glover ready. I'm making a great jerky. That's jockey, Glover. But just make sure to lose. Oh, don't worry. This Glover wasn't born tomorrow, you know. to wash those cars. But we sort of got a problem. The equipment's busted. Okay, we'll help. Then we'll close down. <laughs> wash all these cars? You kids won't have time to spend a million. That's what he be thinking. Glamour fixing car wash splickety lick. Hey, the equipment's working. It doesn't matter. You kids are still going to lose. My suit, it's ruined. Here, buy yourself another one. I certainly will. We'll be back later, Ernie. Come on, we've got money to spend. The car wash is restoring that car. I don't believe it. I'm gonna be rich. I don't believe this. Hey, believe it, kid. This place is a fountain of youth for old heaps, and I'm buying it back. Glomer? Glomer fixing car wash too, girl? Funky Brewster will return after these messages. Kids, help! Time for a balanced breakfast with Cheerios. 
Do you believe in magic? You will with your next box of Cheerios. Free inside is a magic trick, like this disappearing coin trick. Seven tricks in all, one free in marked boxes of Cheerios. Now do you believe in magic? You bet I do. We now return to Punky Brewster. We've only got a few hours to spend this money. What's the most worthless thing we could buy a whole lot of? I know, dead fish. How stupid. But that's it. No one's here. They will be soon. Wilmer's placing our ad right now. We'll pay $10,000 for every fish. No, no, very fish you catch. Let's get ready to give away some money. The best things in it are for free. But you can give them to the first man. studio so fast, I didn't get to tell you the good news. The lottery ticket your little friend gave me was a big winner. The orphanage has won a hundred thousand dollars. Now the kids will have a home. That's Nidoroo. It looks like we're all big winners after all. Cause Punky gives me 40 million dollars worth of pleasure every day. Oh, Henry. Now there's a girl with spunk. Brian, you should ask her out on a date. Are you kidding? She's a cartoon. So far, you've only given me one reason why it won't work out. Well, I don't have a phone number. That's not hard to get. Alf, I think she just goes for guys that are a little more animated than I am. You know, you might have a point there. Mmm, mmm, my super golden crisp cereal is the life of this nutritious breakfast. Can't believe there's eight vitamins hiding in that sweet, crispy wheat. Well, well, Frankie the Finn and my old pal Sharky. What's up, fellas? Your time, sugar bear. We're cruising for a crunch. How about a vitamin-packed punch? Let's get it. Last flight to the coast. Thanks for the lift, boys. I can't get enough super golden crisp. It's got crunch with punch. Yeah. Trix puts the dig e. in your gig. It puts the boom into your beat. Puts the rhythm in your feet. Keeps you rocking shoot, along. Shoot. Puts the soul into your phone. So you can keep, keep on, on, keep on, on moving with Trix. Chocolate caramel, satisfaction. Like crispy cookie, get you back in the action. There's nothing to sticks to Twix, can't fix. You can keep on, keep on, keep on moving with Twix. Caramel or peanut butter Twix. 
Hi, this is Brian Scott, Kid Video. Set your time machines to the year 3010. You're about to whiz into the future. That's the year time traveler Jamie Jaron wins the Laser Tag Championship and the secret Starlight Power. Adventures begin on Laser Tag Academy, next. Michael J. Fox, and I'll be right back with One to Grow On. Last time with Lucky Charms. Oh, no. Stuck up here with a whale on me rainbow and swirled whale marshmallows in me cereal. Come on, let's get him down. Pull! Whoa! Yikes! Oh, we made things worse. How long can it keep bouncing? And how long will there be swirled whale marshmallows in Lucky Charms? That's still up in the air, but you kids can help Lucky and the Whale get down on boxes of Lucky Charms, part of this nutritious breakfast. I don't know. Come on, lighting matches can be fun. What's so hot about playing with matches? Every year, thousands of people are hurt or are left homeless by the careless use of fire. Fire is a tool. We cook with it, it keeps us warm, it gives us light. But it can be very dangerous. It is not a toy to be played with. Because if you use fire improperly, it can cause a lot of trouble. It can even cost you your life. You burn me up, Harry. What's the point of playing with fire when it could burn both of us? Or burn something that we don't want to burn, like my books here. Gee, I never really thought of that. Would you want to do something real fun? Yeah. Let's go see the creature that ate Ralph. Now, there's a hot idea. Come on. And that's one to grow on. Now, at a planet near you, is blaster tag, laser combat that's out of this world. See your own blaster beam. Cut through the night, through the fog, and score a direct hit on the enemy. Test your skills individually or in teams and break new ground with Blaster Tag's unique gravity. Blast off to Blaster Tag, 439 Hialeah Drive in the Essex Shopping Center. For passport information, call 888-7723. That's 888-7723 for Blaster Tag, where fantasy becomes reality. Sandy Payton reports on Marriage Over 30, Monday, live at... Okay, Brian, I'm ready for the next show. This is something I can identify with. A girl from the year 3010. How old are you? Well, let me put it this way. I've got dandruff older than your planet. Wow. Yeah, hey, that's nothing. I've got a cousin who's got a beard older than my dandruff. Yeah, right. Quiet. Laser Tag Academy is coming on. Beam me up, Brian. <laughs> A thousand years from now, a perfect world. Laser tag champion Jamie Jaron is the sole possessor of starlight power. Until the resurrection of a master criminal from the past, Draxon Greer. through time in his quest to conquer the future. He is pursued by Jamie Jaron. Jamie must team with her ancestors, Tom, Beth, and Nikki Jaron. Join us now in their adventure through time to preserve the past, save the future, and keep the peace established by the Laser Tag Academy. Laser Tag Academy will return off these messages. I want to get out with the sunshine, but it's a perfect time to play now. Just my friends who fight with the roll-up. We're having fun on a Saturday. We love our fruit roll-up. And we're crazy about fruit bars. Real fruit and fun. Yeah, they're the ones. We love the same things they do. We love our fruit roll-up. Fruit bars, fruit bars. Fruit bars and fruit 
Do you believe in magic? You will with your next box of Cheerios. Free inside is a magic trick, like this disappearing coin trick. Seven tricks in all, one free in marked boxes of Cheerios. Now do you believe in magic? You bet I do. We now return to Laser Tag Academy. Come on, Beth. How many more do you need? It's not the quantity, it's the quality. And I'll know when I get there. Do all the kids work this hard on their final history project? Hey, you kids. Come have a look at my treasures. This could be it. Spare me. No more. Look around, because I'm offering treasures from my seafaring days for a pittance of their worth. You'd be helping a simple man save the only home he's ever known. Your boat? That's right. The Caribbean Queen, I call her. As sure and as steady as they come. But I'll lose her if I don't come up with the money. Ah, oh, you probably want something a little unusual. Wouldn't you know I have just the item? Stay put. This spyglass is just like what the buccaneers use. You know about pirating? I love everything about them. Well, this spyglass has been in my family forever. Really? Absolutely. Have you ever heard of the great pirate Redbeard? The scourge of the Caribbean? It was his. What a beauty. Why do you want to sell it? Like I told you, the money. I only have a few dollars. It's worth a lot more than that. It's more important for me that it goes to someone who will really appreciate it. was some way we could help that guy. What do you want to do? Put on a rock concert for him? Hey, there's something stuck in here. A pirate's treasure map from 1748. Why don't you give it back to the captain? I've got another idea. Come on, let's go home. can't go anywhere without a star sensor. Should we look for him? No. You kids need a vacation. Oh, right. We've got a vacation from Dreer. In a way. Just be careful. You never know when he may show up. Well, I know what I'll do. What? Visit this island in the Caribbean. I'm going to help that old sea captain. I love it. Sunbathing, windsurfing, scuba diving. Better bring your own equipment. They don't have rentals in 1748. 1748? Holy cow! We're in the middle of a hurricane! Ah! Uh, the one time I don't pack my umbrella! That's what's interesting about
All right, just like I showed you. And no foul ups. Oh, 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 The star sensor is fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Enough. Did you morons find the Jarens? So Alonga actually thinks I'm out of the way. Well, of course, the little dears can't know I've fixed my star sensor. So we'll surprise them. Now this is the life. Broken palm trees, wrecked ships, flooded beaches. There's nothing like being stranded on a desert island. <laughs> you certainly look the part. So what are you talking about? This is the latest in casual storm wear. Bad news, guys. We're not the only ones the storm got to. I can't get it to work. All that water must have shorted the circuit. Great. And finding our other starlights is going to be like hunting for a pebble on the beach. Not with our star sensors. That's not broken, too, I hope. No, it's just filled with sand. Yeah, like the rest of us. Fifteen men on the dead man's chest. Yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of... Ro hey, uh, maybe we found some Boy Scouts. Not in 1748, Tom. Hey, guys, I uh, see you're building a fire. Anything for breakfast? I'm starved. We're here looking for this treasure and got caught in that storm. Treasure, you say now? Yeah, my sister found this pirate's treasure map, and we're helping this old... Tom, these are pirates. Oh, well, uh, we really didn't mean to crash your party. And, uh, well, we'll just go on. Uh, let me go. Pick on somebody your own size, or, or bigger. Get away from me, pal, or I'm gonna give you a knuckle sandwich. Mm. Ah. Ah. Sneaky, aren't you? Well, you won't be getting away from me. How about we talk deal? We're not a favorin' to talkin' much. You see me, Arties? We don't take the trespassers. There's no way I can fit through. Hey, remind me to put you on a diet when we get home. There's something about Captain Redbeard. He looks like the sea captain on the pier. What's the matter? Bad plate up chow? I hope you find these quarters to your liking. The detention room at school is better than this. Here, de detention room? No matter. You'll be walking the plank soon enough. Oh, that's a shame. We were hoping you'd help us find our treasure. Ah, then you must be having a map. You don't think we came all the way down here without one, do you? Here. Maybe if you give me the map, I could persuade me crew, and they're an angry lot they be, not to use you for shark bait. No, I couldn't do that. Not unless we were back on the island. Yeah. You're a feisty one there. Standing up to old Redbeard like that. And I'm starting to like you, too. But you see, lass, I'm here for one thing, that being treasure. And if I don't get it, you walk the plank. Then I guess we both lose. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
<laughs> Move it, you land lover. Okay. You guys think you're so tough? Come on. It looks like we're going swimming, guys. <laughs> Hold your breath. This is wonderful. Those pirates are taking care of those Jaren brats for me. <laughs> Laser Tag Academy will return after these messages. Trix puts the dig in your gig. It puts the boom into your beat. Puts the rhythm in your feet. Keeps you rocking along. Puts the soul into your phone. You can keep on, keep on moving with Trix. Chocolate caramel, satisfaction. Like Christmas cookie, get you back in the action. Two sticks of Twix can't fix. You can keep on, keep on, keep on moving with Twix. Caramel or peanut butter Twix. There's something strange in the neighborhood. So who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Each sold separately. Have no fear. Mikey, Stamps, and Spangler are here. So are these ghosts. They've got exoplasm. We've been goofed. Now what? They puff marshmallow man. Let's show this pile of dessert who's boss. Activate neutrona blaster. We ain't afraid of those ghosts. Peter Venkman, ectoplasm, stay puff marshmallow man, and other figures each sold separately. Ghostbusters, new from Kenner. We now return to Laser Tag Academy. Fellas, don't you think you've carried this joke far enough? When you're at the bottom of the sea, be sure to say hello to Davy Jones for me. <laughs> <laughs> It's a miracle. I knew he'd come through. Shush. Now, the Arties, I'll be expecting the treasure map for saving your hides. Don't worry. You better put more muscle in the oar before the rest of the Pittsburgh Pirates find out you threw the game. Jamie Jaron isn't getting away from me this time. Hey! Oh! Fifteen men on a dead man's chest! Yo ho ho! Your party had better wait. <laughs> Demons from the deep! Nay! It must be a trick! They're after our treasure! Get him, lads! Now listen to me. I'm your new captain. We already have one. A double-crossing one? What are you talking about, Mite? Redbeard saved those three kids and took them to the island. The treasure! They're after the treasure! No doubt. But you help me get those kids, and the treasure's all yours. I'll even help you. The storm changed the way this whole island looks. That's Redbeard's problem. Look, give him the map. We need to find our starlights. No, some of that treasure belongs to the sea captain. Beth, the priority here is our starlights. Fine, you two find them. My priority is finding the treasure. I'm going with him. Sometimes I just don't understand you, Beth. And now, Beth, we're to go in for this here treasure hunting, and you and me must... Oops. 98, 99, 100. I think that was too, too Timmy. Like you, lass, he was after me treasure. The treasure is supposed to be right under the big W. Redbeard, were you always a pirate? Hatched from a fish egg at the bottom of Davy Jones' locker, I was. No, really. I mean, don't you have a home, a family? <laughs> I be telling you true. If there was a lass like you waiting for me, I'd fly the Jolly Roger no more. You mean that? Aye, 
did you hear that, lass? It's music to me ears. The treasure? Is it the treasure? <laughs> Well, you look at ear. Wow! I can't believe it! You'll not be doing that, lass. I only wanted to see our treasure. Ours now, will ya? I saved your life, and the treasure is mine. All of it. Part of that belongs to the sea captain. The only sea captain to be a-spending this lot is yours, truly. I can't believe you're doing this. I really can't. If you want to catch up to your friends, head do south. Laser Chad Academy will return off these messages. Tic-tac-toes. New tic-tac-toes. A good hot meal. And when you get three X's or O's on your spoon, you win. Thank goodness for Chef Boyardee. Tic, tic 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 tac toes With and without meatballs. Yeah. Those lonely pound puppies really need to be rescued. Pound puppy, I'm so glad to find you. Put that lonely puppy pound behind you. You need a name. I'll call you Frickle. Lots of pound puppies need your love. I and when they're this lonely and this lovable, one more is always welcome. Come share in all our cousin Karen puppy love. Pound puppies. Each sold separately. From Tonka. <laughs> I like new Giggles cookies because we've got two kinds of cream inside. He likes Giggles funny faces. There's fudge and vanilla cream in each one. I can't believe how good this is. New Giggles cookies. Two kinds of cream in each funny face. Are you gonna eat that? <laughs> we now return to Laser Tag Academy. <laughs> well, me lass, we're cooking in a stew. Good. That takes care of one, Jaren. Two more, then it's over. And how did they find the starlight? Yeah, look, face. I've got the treasure. For us, I have. I knew there was no other way. I had to get them into me confidence so I could get the map. It was a risky plan, but for me, crew, I did it anyway. Don't be idiots. Your loyal captain double-crossed you. I... <laughs> He kept the best for himself. Grab it, Knight. Yeah, no, no. Don't be hasty. The treasure's ours now. Those are just trinkets. This is the most precious gem on the island. This gem belongs to the first one of you who brings me the next Sharon. I'll be having me the gemstone for me own. But first, me mates, we take care of Redbeard our way. I don't care what you do to him. I want the girl. Then it's settled. Mike ready a keel hauling. It'll take some fast talking, but I'll be figuring a way out of this for us. Us? Uh, don't you mean you? Ah, oh, lass. I never meant for you to be caught up in me troubles. You have a funny way of showing it. Don't you understand? I'm a pirate, and I do what pirates do. Yeah, but as sure as there's fish in the sea, if there's a way out of this for you, old Redbeard will make it happen. You never stop, do you? And that's what I like about you. <laughs> this be the only thing I have ever stolen. My daddy gave it to me when I was a pup your age. And I want to give it to you for as little time as we have here together. 
Why is it taking so long? What's it got? All the sand on the island in there? <laughs> Almost. long green and has a very big mouth? An alligator. Well, uh, if you've got any ideas at all, don't be afraid to speak up. Get him mad at us. What's this? Some bizarre academy rule on animal behavior? No. Don't you ever go to the zoo. Go on, get him mad. I think you'd be better at this than me. Hurry it up. I'm doing the best I can. Come on, let's get back. <laughs> Are you ready for your swim, Captain Redbeard? You leave him alone. Worry about yourself, Charon. Just be giving them appetizers before the main meal. How are we gonna get her? Easy. Toledo. We're back in 1987, but with the whole pirate ship. Jamie, Beth star sensor is on the mast. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. Ah, my mates! Witchcraft! If you want your treasure, grab those kids. I'll get Beth. You take care of Drear. effects these days. <laughs> they really blow me away. I can't wait to find out where Drear lands. Why, these are pieces of eight. Pure gold. They're worth a small fortune. At least enough to save your home. Where did you get them? An old friend. This is pirate's gold. Yeah. And where do you think that old pirate is? I don't know, but I'm sure he can take care of himself. I got me magic here, mates. If I want to, I can turn you all into barnacles. You know I can do that. Aye, aye, aye Captain Redbeard. <laughs> and as for this here old map, I'll be saving it for me great-great-grandchildren. And I'm a hoping some of them are like that last Beth. <laughs> well, you know, Al, sometimes I wonder what it'd be like living in another time or place, like you or Jamie Jerry. It's nice. 
But the weather is unpredictable. You mean you don't know when it's going to change? No, you never know if there's going to be weather. Ha! Yeah! I don't get it. It's a joke. These are the jokes. Oh, okay. We'll be right back with Kid Video. They don't hang around in ladies' clubs or in a three-piece. We just trust you. 